G'day YouTube, Joby from Oz here. So today I'm playing around with a uh, set of DRO scales, brand name of Zhen. Trying to get a handle on the cabling and potential issues that might be being uh, exhibited by what we've got here. So on this side we've got a red and a blue wire and the voltage drop across those is 5 volts DC. So I'm expecting that these four little lumps in here are emitters of some sort, infrared maybe. I thought that if I could get the uh, camera on these I might actually see some infrared light pick up on the video. But so far not really. And on the other side we've got four receivers. Again we've got a V plus fed to one side and then off to the other end we've got at various positions across the quadrature the pick out so we've got green gray yellow green gray yellow brown and then white is probably the low end sense of those readouts there so what I'm expecting to see here is the scale, the glass scale inside the assembly will be sliding along and as it masks and clears these various sensors we'll get a pick up on quadrature rel relative and absolute positioning. The assembly is spring loaded and that spring loaded assembly is then pressed using these four rollers into an appropriate position on the guide let's see if we can get a picture down here on the guide around the glass scale there so I'll see if I can get a better picture of it once it's back onto that track so that's the sensor down in the, uh, the guts of it rolling along the glass scale and in theory those receivers would be picking up changes in their waveform light on light off etc the uh, t-bar coming through you can just basically see the ball down the bottom there which keeps the tension on the roller so that the reed head is left running on the glass the uh, the float or the motion of that helps us to understand how the carriage will slide maintaining positional accuracy whilst being able to float a little bit if the scale is uh, not quite 100% aligned or something. So part one We've identified our various wires. The next step will be to look deeper. So inside the shorter of the two scales, there is this loose wire. An HA17739 chip, which might be an encoder or a counter of some sort. Quadrature encoder. Some additional pins out. And then we have the feedback from that. I'm going to open the other one up and see if the other white lead also is loose in the other scale. Okay, so on the longer scale, it certainly looks as if that's a grounding pin. So I would expect that that's just come loose. Interestingly, the potentiometer is in a slightly different spot on this one that one. I wonder if that's set to anything in particular or if that is perhaps why we're getting an error, just no reading. Don't know. Here we are in Perth, Western Australia, middle of summer and it's bucketing with rain 
absolutely pissing down. It's great for a break from the heat, but uh, yeah, extreme weather events and uh, unseasonal weather events, certainly on top of this. All right, so one of the things I was planning to do with the AL960 was add some programmable functions and one of those was a taco so I could actually see what speed the spindle was running at. Secondarily I'm hoping to connect that up to the VFD so that I can actually set spindle speed from a controller and then the third thing I wanted to be able to do is hook the spindle speed and the controller up to a DRO scale on the cross slide so that I can actually tell the what's the word, the offset from center and adjust the speed of the drive so as to match surface feet per minute. So the closer in I get to the center of the part, the faster the machine would spin. Um, so the first part I'm working on at the moment is just grabbing one of the ramps, the Re Re Arduino Mega Palillo Shield board that I use for my 3D printers, hooked on top of an Arduino. Uh, got an LCD shield which is just a 128 by 64 dot matrix and I started by just wiring in an optical end stop so that as you can see it's actuating and then based on that actuation I'm triggering a piece of code to change the text on the screen so function one is just basically detecting the sensor presenting something on screen. So the next step will be to wire in a second sensor. And my plan will be to put a optical encoder disc on the back of the spindle so that it will break one or the other of these in a sequence which will allow me to detect forward or backwards as well as speed. So um, yeah, the code for what I'm doing so far fairly straightforward. I'm just working through, um, I grabbed a hello world function out of the uh, UHG library and I just added in a set for the pin X min being pin 3 and I'll probably use Y min pin 14 so that uh, at the moment I'm just doing a detect if the input's low go hello world otherwise display oopsie. So the pin is high, it's just running oopsie. And once I'm triggering it, let's change it back to Hello World. So, once we've got the triggers in place, I can then fine tune the software to display a taco reading in the direction. Okay, so I've just added a couple of extra lines there. One which is to define the taco direction and the taco input as the two X min and Y min from the rep wrap. And we've got a detection. At the moment it's stationary because neither of the sensors is reading. Now if we break this one, shows backwards. This one is showing speed. Backwards, speed. All right, so, backwards and speed. So now what we want to do is set up an interrupt on those two inputs. One to detect when the direction pin is sensed. One to detect when the timing pin is sensed. So our RPM will be based on the distance between two timing reads. And our direction will be based on whether the uh, direction is closer to the previous or the next timing sense value. And uh, then we should be able to display a RPM and a direction. So where I'm at is we've got our two sensors, our Arduino and our breakout board and our display. Showing an idle state. I've got the ability to fire off the trigger, which gives us a tachometer. Uh, 
And when the taco stops, we return back to what our maximum RPM was for the run and back to zero RPM. Now, the final function that I've just been working on is a direction so that if it strikes through in one direction, versus if we strike to the other direction, we'll actually see a forwards. or a reverse direction based on the direction of the slot passing through these two sensors. So we've got a sense for our taco and a direction for our essentially quadrature encoding which pin gets fired between the first and the previous one. Quick look at the code. So essentially I've added in some idle time checks to update the maximum RPM, wait some time, show ready to measure, wait some time and reset the values. Um, forwards and reverse is based on the direction. We've got some pins now for taco input, taco direction. We've got some interrupts which fire off according to which of those pins is fired up. Uh, setting some zero state. This is our loop that actually does our calculation of RPM. It only updates the value after each five revolutions. And our RPM counter basically sets the milliseconds that it happened and increments the rev counter. Direction sets the direction for the milliseconds on B and then does a calculation on direction. Um, some fine tuning here to do, but essentially, after a quick night's work, we now have a taco ready to attach to the lathe and see how we go. Thanks heaps for watching, hope you found this useful, we'll catch you next time.